Hello viewers, we'll be going over natural gas. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, how we find the models, and we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis, today we're down roughly 4%. On the one hour chart, we were touching oversold RSI. We start to see a slight convergence on the one hour MACD. If we expand out to the four hour chart, we are close to approaching oversold RSI. And if we expand further to the daily chart, we start to see a convergence in shape. However, we do proceed to head or make lower lows this year. And we are currently oversold on the RSI. So if we were to reverse this trend, I do see a possible resistance at the 18 day moving average, this purple line. We see a concentration around the price of $1.90. So since we are below that support level, that now act as our resistance. So marking for support, if we expand that to the weekly chart, I do see a possible support around the price of $1.72 before we make a possible reversal or some short covering as indicated back in December 14 or December 2015. And at this trend, we saw it over exceed the lowest point at $1.68 before we see a short covering and we head back to the 18 day moving average and then we further proceed lower to make the all time lows. So that's one thing to indicate and that is around the price of on the extreme case will mark the support around one dollar and seventy one cents so we do have a further bit to move down lower so if we expand out a little bit further if we were to move up higher that price movement is roughly around I'll mark that as six point three percent to the upside and to the downside I'll say it is around four point eight percent to the downside. And back to the day by day probability model. So as the day progresses, we have a slight favor to the upside. We have a 58% chance of natural gas heading 0 to 11% to the upside. And on the extreme case, we have a slight chance of 8% of natural gas reaching 11 to 23% to the upside. On the other hand, we have a 33% chance of natural gas dipping lower between 0 to 11 percent. So let's head to the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. Right here, we have the current trend, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to July 28 to October 21st, 2010. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here on the current trend, we started off touching the bottom Bollinger Band and we then proceeded to average lower lows and then we see a slight reversal to the mean and we see it proceed down lower once more right near the end. So we have those points there and afterwards, let's examine the trend in question. We start to see an average or average below the middle Bollinger Band, touching the bottom Bollinger Band, and then we see a slight reversal to the mean at this instance. And then next, we see it finally continue to make low lows below the middle Bollinger Band. So we have those points there. What we have is one, two, three points. We also have one, two, three points. So there's a reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was October, or I should say July 28, October 21st, 2010. Back then, natural gas was up around 1.5%. So we see a slight chance to the upside or 1.5% chance or 1.5% to the upside and that coincides with the 
standard deviation of natural gas climbing higher. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.